Hello! Last week we talked a little bit about God calling us on the phone and calling into our hearts and that we sometimes need to listen. We need to put down our distractions and listen to him. Something else about when he calls us, though, he calls us to do some things that are sometimes not what we want to do. Sometimes somebody asks you maybe to read at church, maybe to do a recording like this for our, our recorded Sunday service, or to read in live church service when we're there, because you're a great reader. But you think, man, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Maybe you are soccer and your coach says you are ready to be the goalie. Ooh, I don't know if I can do that. And as you get older, you hear different callings about helping people, about working, and those kinds of things. And they're tough decisions. Sometimes it's hard picking up that phone and listening. But God has plans for each one of us. And sometimes those plans aren't our plans, but they are the Creator's plans. Who created us. So today I want to read a story. It's called When God Made You. You, you, when God made you, God made you all shiny and new and incredible you, a you all your own, a you unlike anyone else ever known. An exclusive design, one God refined, you're a perfectly crafted one of a kind. Because when God made you, somehow God knew that the world needed someone exactly like you. You, you, God thinks about you. God was thinking of you long before your debut. From the very beginning of mixed history and time, you, little one, never left God's mind. God imagined your eyes and your head's shape and size and knew what you'd look like when you felt surprised. God pictured your nose and all ten of your toes, the sound of your voice. God had it composed. The lines in your hands, your hair, every strand. God knew every detail. It was all planned. Because when God made you, this much is true. The world got to meet who God already knew. You, you, when God sees you, God delights in what is and sees only what's true. That you, yes you, in all your glory bring color and rhythm and rhyme to God's story. Because God loves you creating, your true self displaying. When light on the inside through art is portraying. When you make believe, the stories you conceive, the heroics, the magic, those tricks up your sleeve. <clears throat> God smiles, and here's why. In the spark of your eye, a familiar reflection shines bright from inside. Because when God made you and the whole world oohed and odd, in heaven they called you an image of God. You. You, when God dreams about you, God dreams about all that in you will be true. That's you, God's you, will be hopeful and kind, a giver who lives with all heart, soul, and mind. <clears throat> A dreamer who dreams in big and small themes. One who keeps dreaming in journeys upstream. A mover, a shaker, a lover of nature. A builder of bridges, you, the peacemaker. And you, who views others as sisters and brothers and lives by three words, love one another. A confident you, a strong and brave you. You being you is God's dream coming true. Because when God made you, 
all of heaven was beaming. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for making each one of us individual. And be with us when you call us to do the hard things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.